Hello, welcome to my first video in which I will be um, configuring what it is a VTP and VTP is essential um, to get your CCNA or your ICND2 certification. So um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up a VTP server and a VTP client. And what is a VTP server? A VTP server is the one that sends um, VLANs over a trunk link to different VTP clients. So to different switches. So if I make VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 on the VTP server, what the VTP server is going to do is send over the information to all the VTP clients. Okay. So um, let's begin by configuring the um, the switches um, first of all I'm going to um, shut off I'm going to turn it off this interface which is interface fast Ethernet series slash one because I don't want any trouble when I'm configuring enable config terminal interface fast um, was it two or one I think it's one let's shut it down for now let's see it is shut down so let's go ahead and let's configure the um, VTP server. But first, let's give it a um, let's give it a host name. So let's go host name. Sorry, host name s two is s two, and now VTP mode is going to be a client, and now it's setting the device to client mode. And by default, all the switches come in as a VTP server. Okay. Now, all we need to do is to set up a VTP um, VTP domain. The domain is going to be Cisco. There you go. It went from nothing to Cisco. Um, and if the um, VTP client and the VTP server are not on the are not on the same domain. If it's not on this Cisco domain that I just created, they won't communicate with each other. So, and also even if another client mode um, is off, it, is, it does not belong to the Cisco or um, domain. It is they are not going to be able to communicate. So, this Cisco domain needs to be um, on all the switches that you want to connect. Okay. So there you go, VTP domain Cisco client. So that's all good. Let's go to the um, server and make it a VTP server. Okay, you enable config tree, hostname first, switch one, VTP mode server. All right, that is already a server because by default, all the um, switches are a VTP server by default. Just remember that. Um, now VTP mm, domain Cisco, right? The same domain. You went from nothing to Cisco. So now, what I want to do, we gotta make this a trunk link. So to make it a trunk link, either this one or this one needs to be configured as a trunk. But let's make this one a trunk. So, because I shut it down, right? Um, so let's go to interface fast region. So it's last one here. We're going to switch port mode trunk, and now no shutdown. It's going to come up. There it is, it's coming up, and it's going to take its time. Um, making the trunk link and also doing those STP, um, STPs. Um, needs to um, synchronize, right? So what that is happening, what I'm going to do is, let's end it. Um, and let's see, show VLAN, show VLAN brief. There you go, show VLAN brief, as you can see. The only, the, um, the only VLAN created is the one, which is the, um, the default one. All the switches come with VLAN one. 
all right so and these other VLANs as well that is used for toggle ring and we can now delete or rename or edit okay so now let's make now that is on let's make these two VLANs all right and you're gonna see that it is we're gonna make it on the server which is switch one and it's going to send it over to the client which is switch two we go VLAN 10 and then VLAN 20. Let's end it. Let's show VLAN brief. There it is. VLAN 20, VLAN 20. And now it is going to send it over this BTP client. And there it is VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Also, let's see a show BTP um, status. Um, let's see. We have seven VLANs because it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, the default, right? And you see that a revision now, the version is version two. Configuration revision is two. So every time I make a change on the server and the client gets it, this um, revision number is going to go up. So let's make a change or let's create another VLAN so you guys can see this. Configuration VLAN 30. And okay, let's go back here. You're going to see that revision number is going to go up. There you go, revision number three. And let's do a show VLAN brief. There it is, VLAN 30. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this app um, pass it to net zero slash two this both we're going to make it a vlan 10 both of them so they can communicate so they can be on the same vlan and they can ping each other right okay let's go right here config terminal mm. let's go to interface pass make it an access say support access VLAN. There it is. Now we gotta make it on this side. Mm, config. Just make it bigger so you yeah, can see better. Um, interface pass. And switch port mode access. Now switch port access VLAN. 10. Okay, and all right, now let's give it a second. And let's, when this is up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping, going to ping PC2. So let's go command line ping 10 2. If I do it right now, it's going to fail because the line. The protocol is not up. Now it's up. There it is. Reply. I'm going to reply from PC1. So now let's do a ping to PC2. So you can see that it's working both ways. There it is. Boom. And there it is. So on the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a um, BTP transparent mode. So thank you for watching and see you on the next one.